Hi, I'm Bob Crager. I'm the author of the book Historic Barns of Ohio, and I hope you enjoy these amazing barn stories. This next story is in Pike County. I call this the Bell, and it's about the Ohio Erie Canal, which is something that revolutionized the state of Ohio, taking it from a very poor state to a very prosperous state. And it traces back to 1829 when the patriarch was born on a ship from Ireland coming over here. He was born on the ship and he fought in the Civil War, had 10 children, as many farm families did. I met Howard, who was the fifth generation, and I met Randy, who was the sixth generation, when I visited several years ago. Well, the family that started the farm about 1830, when the canal came through, uh, eventually sold it to this particular McClay family. So their heritage doesn't trace back all the way to 1830. However, the state road that goes right by the barns is State Road 104, and that's where the canal was. And the canal boat, when it would approach, would ring a big bell because people wanted to drop supplies off or maybe pick some supplies up. That was before the railroads came through and it turned Ohio from the third poorest state to the third wealthiest state in the 1840s. And it's a wonderful, wonderful ex example of how a, an idea could transform a state. There were canals in Pennsylvania and New York so this was uh, one that came a little bit later, stretching from the Cleveland area down to Akron. That was the first, uh, first step in 1827, and then eventually down to Portsmouth, right by this particular farm, Pike County. And the, uh, the owners uh, gave me some wood for the, the barn, and uh, just, like, just like this particular painting, which is in Hawking County, uh, that I drove by in 2018 when it was uh, really falling apart, uh, but couldn't get to it because it was surrounded by weeds. Um, saw it three years later, 2021, and it had collapsed. But I was able to get to it, found that it's very old timber frame hand hewn, probably built Civil War earlier, and framed in wood from this barn. And that's why I do this project. Same thing with Pike County Barn. Got wood from an old smokehouse circa 1840 that burned down and just a wonderful way to capture it. Well, if you look in the book, you'll see Howard, or at least Howard Hands, holding the bell that was on this particular boat. And this canal was one of the most amazing things ever built in Ohio. It stretched all the way from Cleveland to Portsmouth it had 14 aqueducts, 203 culverts, 146 lift locks. It was an amazing engineering feat. Many immigrants lost their lives. They would have uh, taken the ship over based on working for four or five years or whatever as a way of payment for their passage over to America. And it cost $8 million but it allowed farmers to buy their supplies more cheaply and to sell their excess produce, which is what revolutionized Ohio into the third most prosperous state in the 1840s. And the last section was all the way down to Portsmouth. It wasn't very long. It cost $10,000 in 1887. And strangely, only one boat went down it all the way. But it did revolutionize Ohio, and it's one of the most important stories in Ohio. And I'm very glad that I got a chance to meet the, the people whose patriarchs farmed in this area.